Could some school sports facilities be open to the public after school hours in Venice soon? Well, that was one of the topics of conversation at the Council of Governments meeting today. ABC 7's Christopher Brantley joins us now live from Venice with more on the story. Christopher. Good evening. These tennis courts behind me were the topic of conversation today. The city of Venice's mayor says they should be open for the public to use outside of school hours. For the folks at the Venice tennis courts, this is an everyday routine. You get to play one set. You have to get off the court. You may have to wait an hour or longer before you can play a second set. Problem for them is tennis is an everyday routine for many people. In a Council of Governments meeting on Thursday in Venice, Mayor John Hollick brought that issue up. Some of our parks are overcrowded, they're overused, and if we can find uh, areas that are less used or underused and uh, bring more people out to them, perhaps it's a baseball field, perhaps it's a tennis court. In the meeting were representatives from Northport, Sarasota County, Longboat Key, and the Sarasota School Board. Uh, the one thing they're not making any more of is land, and we have some land, and we, we ought to figure out a way to make it available. Hollick's idea would open Venice High School's tennis courts to members of the public outside of school hours. Superintendent Dr. Todd Bowden liked the idea. You know, our schools wrap up business at 3.30, 4 o'clock every day, so you have that window of time at the end of the day and all day Saturday and Sunday. Before this might happen, the different governments would have to address topics like liability and security, and also how to fence off the school property so the public can't enter the school area during business hours, while ensuring that when students use the courts, they can't just walk off the property. If they are appropriate for that purpose, then shame on us if we don't make them available. Before they do become available, an official decision will have to be made by both the city and the school board. Thursday's meeting was only to bring the topic up as a possibility. People who live here and pay taxes here pay taxes to Venice High School, and it would be very nice if we could use it off-season. Now, another couple lingering questions here is when that might happen. There's no official date set. And another big question is, is who will pay for that fencing work? The Sarasota County School Board Chair Carolyn Zucker made clear today that the school board wouldn't shoulder the cost alone. Live in Venice, Christopher Brantley, ABC 7, your Suncoast News.